Good morning, everyone. This is Sheena from For the Love of Paper, and I'm just going to show you some more things that came in from AliExpress, um, Amazon, and then part of my order from Michaels. So there is some projects I'm working on up here, but I just wanted to show you these things quick. So I got these AdTech tape runners. I'm not sure. Yeah, they're the same brand as I was already using. Um, my brother had got me a gift card to Michael's, so I got um, this Tombow glue to try, these tape runners, because I only have like two left, and then I got three Scotch Create glue sticks, but they haven't come in yet. So um, I'm big on different glues and stuff like that, trying different ones. So just sharing those, they need to be put away. These um, I use whenever I create um, my ephemera books. So they're little pockets. There's two on here um, that you then can put your ephemera in. So I have this size and then this is uh, close to four by five. It's a little, over, little under four and a little over five. Um, this is the first time I've got these um, from this company. Sorry for the noise. And the reason I'm saying that is because it came with these note cards because they're really note card holders. So, um, yeah, I, I thought it was just part of the imaging. I didn't know that that was really it. So these are a little bit larger than this size. And the other size I have um, are just real thin um, like shorter ones to put smaller pieces in. So these are great whenever you're making ephemera books. So I just wanted to share those with you. They're called like index card pockets, label pockets, that kind of thing. So those were from Amazon. Now all of this is the rest of my order that I had said the other day was still coming in from AliExpress. So, um, I'll start with stickers and show you these. This pack. And this pack. And I'm going to get the box. And I'm also going to get the label box down too because labels came in as well. So this is the tin that I said I was putting the stickers in. So just like a quick flip through of these. Just very random. I think they're fun for collage. Um, roll. <laughs> they're matte. A matte finish. So, yeah, just some very random. What is that? A jacket? Hmm, like a puffer jacket. Um, I like these, like I said, for more unique collages. This one seems to have a lot of food in it as opposed to like other things, which is fine. Sometimes there are those weird requests like on Marguerite Miller and stuff like that. Oh, which reminds me, I need to purchase that download. So there's those. And then this one is like my favorite style. Look at these really quirky ones that make no sense whatsoever. I love these ones. And these are fun. Just for real like random things. Sloth, cow with earrings. is that a dog playing baseball a boxer an ostrich with a hat or hair or something yeah these are pretty much all quirky like animal ones love that because that is um a gucci yoko art love that i have a whole journal for her yeah these are just real weird random ones. So those. Okay, so those are the stickers. 
um, the labels. This is the pack of labels. And again, this is from AliExpress. Comes in a little envelope type. So we'll be saving that packaging to use. I'll put that behind me. All right, so this looks like it's a pack of the black and white. Um, some flowers, oh my goodness. Let me open this and kind of show you some and put them in there. So there's some bigger ones, some real tiny ones, some with places you can write on, some completely filled out. I'm not sure how many came in this. I would guess probably a hundred. But I like adding labels just to like blank spots. And a little extra. Having the variety of size and the randomness is great. I think that's all the labels that are coming in. I think everything has arrived now as far as labels, so those in there. And then, yeah, that's a good fill of that. I need to like shake it up or something. All right, so there's those. This is another pack of like the material paper. A um, hundred pieces. So these are more like neutral tones. Um, and like creams, browns, tans, grays. Um, just all pretty much neutrals and different shades. And that again is from AliExpress. So this is the bin that these are going in. This whole section from about here is all stuff I need to kind of like file in there. The same with this down here. So it's getting fuller. It's definitely getting fuller. Um, and I will keep this packaging because that could be a journal card that's collaged on. And then I got these. Um, I just picked like the primary colors. Um, I think the only color I really don't have is like a teal and um, teal and coral. I was trying to think of the other one. But they perforate. It's sticky on this side, but they perforate off and then you glue them down and just add like a little color to whatever you're working on. So I'm sure I'll get the other two, but for now I just got green, pink, tan, blue, purple, and then I'll get the other two. But those are the, and then I don't know if you can see, like that's where they're perforated right there by each color. This ends sticky, and then you just put them on your collage. So those, those, and then, this pack of save that packaging that could be a tag. This little pack of like floral one side in. I love these little floral pieces. So there's that. I think this was only like two dollars. And then this William Morris type book. Similar to the other ones I got, but not exactly. Um, and this has different colors, but I got it in the like browns, the more neutral colors. So there's those, and I'll show you. Um, maybe I'll show you. Let's see if I can get it out. This is the box that I'm waiting to get the big like chest I was talking about. I found these, these are muted tones. So 
they will go in the box as well. They're actually stickers, I think. Um, but these are all the other muted tone pieces that are like the William Morris style that didn't, no. Is it the William Morris style? No, that's these up here um, that aren't in a book. This is more flat. Um, I did add in, I have some textured papers. So I added those in there, like um, these handmade because they're also more muted. So, and then this is a box that I'm just using for now that also has some of those handmade um, papers in it. So all the muted tone things delicate like are with each other so then this one I'm not sure I might just put it in this box whenever the things come as well um, I really like how this is matte this is great for collage and I love all things like William Morris so let me put these away and they go in here I believe So these are all the other floral, brighter color books. And then down here in the front, I have like similar style pieces. So they will just get mixed with those. I might need to use one of the um, little I don't even know why Tim Holtz is coming to me because that's totally not right. Um, the clear plastic containers that you put some things in, I might have to put these. So I think I might have got this pack before maybe or something similar. So I'll just put those together. There's more squares right there. Bring them to the front. So these are a little bit bigger. Just trying to give us a little bit of organization. More squares. All right, so let's turn this around right. And essentially that whole stack there is turned around wrong. Like that. And then these pieces are more back here. Like that. All right, so now they're kind of with their right shapes and sizes except for that whole stack right there Let's see one more squares i really must have just thrown them in i think some are off cuts too that's why they look a little off because i've used some parts of them but that's better much better so I'm gonna put that in the front of this box with all these floral papers. Yep, perfect. And then, oh, my little girl. I need to glue all these. I have six of these word cards. I have one little one, cause I just, that was like the last thing I did last night that I'm gonna do more of. And then I have about seven double pocket um, journal card things there to finish. That's what I was doing last night. So that's pretty much, I don't know that I have a, I have a box that I'm gonna use for these. It's on the other side of the room and I have to figure out how to get it over here because if it's not over here, I'm not gonna use it. Um, accessories and stuff like that, I don't mind going over there for. Um, but these little things that I just wanna grab and use, I need to have right by me. So those will need a home. These stickers can be put away. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you. It's been a while. I'm just picking up trash that I dropped on the floor. It's been a while since I showed this. It was before I moved, but, um, this is like a ephemera book. So it's, it was a My Treasury of Animal Tales and Rhymes book. Um, I don't, I don't know why I had it. Probably wishful thinking at one point, but I recovered it. 
Um, and then I just started making things like ephemera pieces. Let's see if I can go higher. Um, we're as wide as we can go, I think. Okay. So I just started making different things. That's a longer piece of Tim Holtz. See, I would totally forget. And I have forgot. So just pulling these things out to see different um, things that can be used. So that says week 101 coin envelope. Coin envelope. So a lot of these, um, these are things I made myself. Um, these little pieces I made myself. But then there is um, some things in here. That's a piece I made myself. I'm just looking where the next one might start. These are all mine. Just things I've different, made differently. This goes over here. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find... It's a big 12 by 12 pocket. I don't know where the rest of them start. That's another little flip down. Again, okay, here's 102. So this is the second. So she did 100 episodes of mask making. Then she did a second round of 100 roads episodes of mask making. That's whenever I picked up, um, whenever I started, um, I found her. So this is 102. These are just some wallpaper pockets I made. Um, I'm not sure. Um, 105, a tall pocket. Oh, it's the whole pocket there. 105 is a tall pocket. These are probably little matchbooks. Yep, 103. There's a matchbook. And you can put a little writing space in those. I must have just made three different sizes whenever I did it. This is 104, a policy envelope. That's the 105. Um, so yeah, so I got the whole way up to like this 50s. So these are all just different pieces of ephemera that I've clipped in that she made and then I followed. And then there's some other random ones in here. Um, now we're up to 117. Um, these I think are probably just because I got that punch to remind me to use it. 120 fabric paper clips, which is that. It's bent, but it's fine. Um, Hand stitch fabric ruffle, yeah, that was a one and done. I break needles when I write hand stitch, so. Again, more of these, we're up to the 30s. All these are different things she's used and you can definitely follow her and watch her mask makings. She did a Rita Donnelly flip up here in the corner, a double corner pocket, um, these jumbo altar paper clips layered butterfly right here um three this is picnic strawberry i guess was a three pocket booklet there um this is um i don't know where i saw this but it's just like uh so you collage on this side and then you have a pocket you can put a journal card in so that's what all these things are up in this corner here. This is just the sample and those are all made with Tim Holtz stuff and collaged. I would just need to put the pockets in. So now we're up to the 40s. Um, somewhere in here, you see I was just using random papers. I, this is twigs and tombs, six by six idea here with different pockets, one there, one there. Um, this looks like a tuxedo pocket by Gail. So I did start over time putting more things in. Um, there's an altered paper clip there with a pocket in it. Um, I just have that in there to show the pocket, I guess. 
Um, altered paper clip notepad. So somewhere I had stopped around the 60s. So last night, 155, 154. Um, one sheet fold out pocket, 156. So I think it actually goes like this. So there's a pocket. Uh, what just fell? There's a pocket in there, a pocket in there, and then that folds out. What's that? Oh, it's the paper clip, and it's too far away now. So we're going to grab a new one. That was just my chair creaking. So 160 here is a collage book page, faux envelope, and then um, I'm trying to think. 158. DD Fargo envelope pocket. Quick, easy pockets here. So this is where I think I picked up. Maybe not. No, not yet. It's after this page. This is like a wraparound belly band. Um, weeks 166. Decorated edge strips. So here. This was a Roxy creation week one and week two. And then 167 was the last belly band I had. I mean, the last week I had done for uh, Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Then I had done Roxy week three. This one I made last night. And I think I did it because I didn't realize I did the other one because I needed a sample for those as I had forgot about it. And I didn't realize it was up there. So I did actually add a journal, journal card on this. So that's the six by six pocket with a journal card. Then this is week four Roxy Creations. That's all the further I got in her, so I'll have to go back. Um, week 170, clipped corner pockets. So this was um, a pocket here, and then she did a clip corner. So that's week 170. Um, last night I did 168, which is this envelope pocket. And I just put like a little tag in it to remind that's what it's for. So I collaged an envelope. This is another one. You use your off cuts from here and create a pocket. Let's see if I have something I can stick in there right here. I'll use this piece. So there's a um, triple pocket. Now why is that not? That should be a pocket there, unless I glued it shut. One, two, there is a tag in there. Yeah, how'd that get glued shut? Oh, it's not, it's not, it's just tight. Okay. So there's a pocket there, well maybe part of it, there we go. A pocket there, a pocket there, and then this one up here. So it's a three pocket envelope. So I did all three of these, 168, 970, and then 171 last night, which is a Patricia um, um, Viramontes, I think, double pocket. So there's a pocket there. And then up here at the top, this was made from a full book page. Um, so that's where I stopped at 171. So my hope is to finally finish these out. Um, I think whenever uh, this book is really weird. That's one of the reasons why I used it. Um, the colors are so bright, but it's getting pretty big with different things. But I totally forget, and this is a great way to remember different types of ephemera. So um, that's got a little index pocket to it. So it's like a faux pocket. Um, so yeah. Uh, I need to come back to this. I did do about five last night, four or five last night. And then um, I'm thinking I may finish this book out with the rest. I don't know. Um, well, let's see what page we're actually at. 58. That's where we are at 58 at 70. And it's 190. So yeah. Um, I may finish that out. Um, I love the look of it. I keep it on the top of my bookshelves here 
kind of as a decoration. Um, it sits like that. <laughs> um, I know I can't zoom out anymore, but yeah, this is definitely something to come back to. I picked it up last night and I don't watch because I've already watched all the full videos. I only refresh myself what she's making, make one, put it in here, go to the next one. So it's not taking me hours to do like those four. It maybe took me 40 minutes to do those four because I watch her, I fast forward, watch her make it, make one, put it in here, move on. So that is my ephemera book coming back to life. And I would like to do something similar for all of Roxy Creations because she has several years and doesn't repeat necessarily the same thing. So something to keep you entertained and crafting. And that idea then produced all of these that just need glued and then they'll go on my shop. So I hope you enjoyed this quick New Year's Eve video and that you have a safe and happy New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Bye.